All right, so this new crocodile, new, this, this crocodile boss, not new at all, has returned once again. And honestly, I was just thinking of re-uploading the other video I had already made on him, like the last time he came, but I think I can make a better one. So I'm gonna make, remake this video again. Um, this essentially will be for, you know, especially for new players that haven't played this activity yet, how to beat him more properly and easily, because this activity, if you don't know what you're doing, can be kind of annoying. And off the bat, honestly, if you don't have Keo, the ignite character that passively ignites the enemy, don't even bother doing extreme. It's not worth it if you don't have Keo, or if you ha if you have a uh, max duped Mon speed, you can use him. But honestly, even still, it's just not even worth it. I would gravitate towards hard or normal if you don't have Keo. If you have Keo, you probably just don't even need a video. You just go on extreme and he destroys it for you. Um, but hard or normal? Why hard or normal? Because on hard or normal. You don't have the same annoyance the extreme has. On this activity, right, the boss, let's actually go toward, let's go star one and then I'll talk about it. The boss has a supreme damage reduction that causes you to do one damage for three turns. Or until you ignite him five times. On extreme, however, it's 11 times. <laughs> it's like you have to fill this whole thing plus one. For him to get his, this damage reduction out. This is the damage reduction symbol. But not just that. Um, on extreme, the damage reduction doesn't have a turn counter like normal or hard. So here, right, we're igniting him. But honestly, what you can also do is you can wait for the damage reduction to go away. If you have a tanky team, like you use a green DN, like a healer. You can just wait, <laughs> and the damage reduction will go away. But in extreme, that's not how it is. But for this time, for the sake of like time, here's what we're doing: we're igniting him. We're gonna, using Kang, Vivian, and, and Askenor. You can replace Vivian and Askenor with any ignite units, and because damage, damage reduction went away, you can replace them with any other ignite characters. Literally any. Uh, but Kang, I would say it's a really good one because he has two Ignite cards, so that really helps him. Now he's transitioning because we ignited him five times. On hard, I believe it's seven times. So, um, yeah. So now we are also going to transition to our second team. We can bring two teams. As you can see, on the phase... Uh, it's phase one, but on his uh, second form, he's green. So we're bringing a full red team for the second phase. And he already has Ignites, we're gonna pile in more Ignites, we're gonna take off his ultimate gauge, I bought Red Zeldris, because uh, while doing this, I noticed that he actually goes for the ultimate uh, when he transitions here. So we can just take off the ultimate gauge like that. And we just absolutely obliterate. And it's the same concept for hard. I just did normal, because it's faster. It's the same concept for hard. Um, you just come in with your your red team on the on the uh, the second form, and you just basically obliterate him with all his damage reduction. Now you can you don't have to use Zal actually maybe Zaldrus isn't the best because uh, one of his cards is yeah as you can see you can you can actually swap out I guess Zaldrus or even Diamelli for something else. I just brought like red characters right. I just brought like red characters, uh, but yeah. And again on hard the only difference really is that you need seven ignites so you might need like better rng or honestly waiting waiting on the hard is probably better than actually doing the uh the whole ignite thing now let's do extreme extreme <laughs> extreme you can do without kill you know what i'm gonna show you the mon speed method give me a second as right, so this is the mon speed method and again it's just not worth it <laughs> <laughs> this is the honestly the only reliable way to do this without Keo, really. Uh, you're gonna need Moss Speed to be 6-6, six, six, and this is why I'm saying, like, you know, most people are not giving Moss Speed dupes. Let's be real here. Most people just aren't, but you do need them 6-6. Six, six. Uh, red or green doesn't matter, you just need the Ignites. The Green Merlin, Old Food, and King again, because you need the Ignites from him too. Uh, and then you're gonna go in and get Mon Speed's ultimate in the first turn, and then ult him in the second turn to apply all those Ignites. And again, second team, I, I took out Red and Melee for Shin, because we saw, like, Red and Melee, for, I actually forgot that in the second uh, form, he actually seals debuff cards. Uh, so, like, Red and Melee is kind of pointless, right? So, let's, uh, let's get Mon Speed's ultimate while using his cards. 
So we also um, get new king cards here, because we're actually going to need king cards too. So we get his ultimate, and then we're going to use his ultimate and the king cards. Uh, and we're still not going to have enough. No, we're going to have enough. It's, it's 9 debuffs, actually. I thought it was 11. But it's 9 debuffs. I'm almost certain. So we're ult with Monspeed. Also, I guess, you know, if you have Monspeed with less than 6-6, six, six, you can still do this, but, you know. So we got him. You know, you don't need Keo. You really don't need Keo, but it's just like... You're gonna need something like this, right? Like a, a mon speed with dupes. Or like really, really good per perseverance of igniting him nine times, right? So we got that done. Let's swap out to the other team. I put out Shen. I think Shen is a good option here. So we're gonna do this, this, this. Take off the ultimate gauge. But you know, you don't need, again, you don't need Shen. You can use like someone else, but. Well, that shouldn't be a good option, because we're going to have the Ignites anyways. So I might as well have someone who's going to, you know, take good use out of those Ignites. I might as well do a Keo run as well, but, you know, the, key, the Keo run is just like beating him down with the biggest of eases, because Keo absolutely obliterates. I'm saving a uh, some some of the Sario cards for the second phase here. Not that it's needed, to be honest, but might as well. Might as well. Oh yeah, he gets this uh, defense buff. I actually forgot. Oh, I should have gone for the kill. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna... It's fine. It's fine. We have a full red team. He's... This, this activity has not been scaling uh, with the game, like, he doesn't output that much damage, considering, like, you know, today is, like, level 90, SA6 sort of, like, thing. I could be doing this much faster, I, <laughs> I don't know why, I, I mean, I wanted to save a Saurio card, I might as well just use it. I wanted to save a Saurio card for the next uh, phase, but I really didn't have to, I could have just killed him. Doing this for absolutely no reason. In second phase. With Keo, like, I don't even use a second team. Like, when I do this with Keo, I just don't even use a second team because it's pointless. There's Sario. Not gonna ult with uh, Shin because there's no debuff. Boom. You can only crit him with Shin, by the way. Or, uh, like, Levi. As you can see, like, uh, <laughs> goddamn Sario with triple crit chance missed the crit. Like, you actually cannot crit him without, like, a guaranteed crit. And again, when I'm using the, the Keo team, so this is the Keo. I mean, you can you can swap out so much here, but it, with Keo, there's zero challenge. Not that it's the activity is necessarily challenging, but with Keo, there is just zero challenge because he just does all the work for you. With Keo, I just bring out Keo and, like, two Ignite characters and just get to the... Uh, or just get through the damage reduction as fast as I can. And get it done quick. So I like to use the Askunner card, they use the Kang card, and the Kang card again. So next turn, uh, he's, al he's already out of damage reduction, because Kyo's gonna apply two more Ignites. And then uh, we can go for an ultimate while we're at him. I, I basically always get an ultimate on the second turn. Just by, you know, getting the extra, like, especially with Askenor, because he gives himself extra ultimate gauge when he uh, he attacks. I'm not going to have to attack here, but okay, we get the ultimate. He always gets the ult on me, though, which is annoying. I guess if I use Z uh, Zeldras or someone that actually takes off ultimate gauge, I wouldn't have to worry about that. But then I wouldn't get the... Uh... No, I, I think I, c I could get the um... the thing off. Very easily without having Kang here. I could actually use like Red Demon Melly or something for sure. Um, actually, I'm just gonna attack. I don't, I don't need to uh, ult. I actually have so many car good cards I don't actually have to ult. I usually ult here, but it's actually, it's actually unnecessary to ult. I'm just gonna ult in the next phase. So yeah, this is the Crocodile boss. It's just... The boss is whatever. I mean... <laughs> When he first came out, it was always like, oh man, I can't believe they're, they're making you, like, need Kyo. 
But, you know, doing extreme is like... It's like annoying anyways. So yeah. 